this is a time to rejoice and decide today that no matter what is going on in the circumference of your life, that you're going to rejoice. Use this time wisely by realizing that you have an opportunity for joy, that you have an opportunity to really bask in all that God has given you. Ralph Waldo Emerson said this, write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year. A quote like this changed my life one time. I was having a series of down days <laughs> because I carried that down mood inside of me. I was just like the the cartoon character with a cloud hanging over the character. And no matter what happened, I just was cynical about it. Well, that was a long time ago. Until I came across the idea that I could rejoice and I could make a decision that this was a day to rejoice, that this was one of the best days that I've ever lived. Well, at first, when I started to say that to myself, I admit to you it was faking it. But the inner mind doesn't know the difference between a real or a, an imagined event. Uh, much of our worry is imagined, and we bring it on ourselves and cause our body great harm and conflict within itself, including sickness and disease. Now, in the same way, rejoicing can take over you, and a spiritual person rejoices. Spirituality, as you've heard me say many times, is the depth of your bliss, in the middle of your problem. In Psalms 33, verse 1, it says, Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous ones. Praise from the upright is beautiful. Well, this day, this moment, is a blessed gift from God. And we have countless reasons to rejoice in it. And yet, on some days... When demands of life threaten to overwhelm us, we don't feel much like rejoicing at all. Instead of celebrating God's glorious creation, we find ourselves wallowing in frustration, worried by uncertainty. Well, the familiar words of Psalms 118 verse 24 remind us, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Whatever this day holds for you, begin it and end it and fill it with God as your partner. And throughout this day, give thanks to the one who created you and is with you every moment. God's love for you is infinite. What better reason to rejoice?